Okay, so today I received my Crimson Trace Railmaster Laser. It is model number CMR-201. And I bought it with the intention of installing my Glock 23 or my uh, Springfield XDM. So, I received the box from Amazon and it wasn't sealed at all. Uh, got a little picture of the laser on there. Okay, so first thing we have here is the instruction manual. We'll get back to that. And a foam bubble wrap. Looks like the laser's inside of it. It's a pretty low, fo low profile laser. Looks like it's pretty well made. And we got a baggie of accessories here. Looks like the battery, um, three different type of rail attachments, and Allen wrench, and it looks like two cleaning rods, probably to clean the tip of the laser, or the lens is that. And there's two stickers in here, I imagine to attach to the gun, because it looks to me like there's no flat surface on the laser itself, so I don't think it'd be able to mount to that. So. Let's go ahead and try and mount it on one of these guns. Okay, so what I've done, kind of looked over the manual a little bit here. The, uh, the attachment that comes on the gun is the number one. There's one, two, three, and four. Um, and the Glock actually calls for a number three. And depending on which firearm you have, you can look over it and, uh, and figure out which number you need to actually install on the uh, laser before you can actually install it on the gun. So, I loosen up these screws right here. There's two little flat heads you have to loosen up a little bit. And then the rail clamp slides off. And then there's a, uh, the piece right here, that's the adapter that goes on your particular gun. Um, you can actually push out one way. And you take that piece off. And then for my Glock, I need number three. So, you just slide the piece on. like so and then the rails it's actually like a rail on the top and the bottom uh, it clamps onto the uh, laser and then it clamps onto the actual gun itself so now it's ready for me to slide it onto the Glock and then tighten it down once I have it in place so this is the 23 and as always make sure there's not a round in the chamber and I had a flashlight on it so I'm going to take that off for now Okay, and I should believe the instructions say to put it on from the side. Looks like I need to loosen a little bit more so that it can actually spread open enough to clip over the rail. There it goes. Pull the slide back a little bit on the, on the rail. And tighten it down. Okay. Now the fire arm has laser attached to it. It's got a nice low profile. Fits very well. Okay, so I dug the battery out of the bag, and there's a little door here on the bottom of the laser that you need to slide off. It's a little piece of metal and then it exposes the actual battery chamber so uh, let's get this battery out of here and it looks like it goes negative side towards the rail okay so the, the very flat flattest piece of the battery goes up okay and then so that'll go down here. All right. So now the laser should be complete. Let's make sure it works. And it does. And according to the manual, they claim that it's it's good up to 50 feet out of the box. Uh, you know, that may vary, of course, depending on the gun. Uh, but uh, it's got ambidextrous buttons on it to turn it on or off 
and I believe it turns off automatically after five minutes. So now I'll go ahead and take it off and then we'll go through the process of installing the Springfield. Okay, so I removed it from the Glock and looked at the manual and the Springfield calls for a number two piece and I uh, went ahead and installed that on there and the rails are somewhat loose. There's really not much to install this. It's pretty much the same thing as installing the Glock. Um, there's three different sections on here on the rail. I guess you can adjust it uh, and put it further away from the trigger guard if you prefer it that way. That's what the manual is saying. So uh, go ahead and slide it on there. Tighten it down. And uh, of course you don't want to over tighten this. There's not much of uh, threads that it bites into on the back side of the manual, so just be careful you don't over tighten. But that's it. It is now on the spring field. As you can see, it works just fine. How accurate it is? I don't know. That I will find out shortly when I go to the range. But it's a pretty nice little laser. And I like the fact that it's universal. And uh, apparently I can install it on my AR or any other gun that has uh, that type of rail system on it, which is most guns that have any rails. So that's it. That is the Crimson Trace Railmaster.